Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ijatu Shaw, a London-based photographer, and today I have a very exciting fashion story to share with you. I'm definitely in need of more fashion photography in my portfolio, and when Neb's models sent over some of their new faces, I knew it was the perfect opportunity to put together an editorial test shoot. Neb's introduced me to the wonderful Josefina, who I instantly knew was going to be perfect for the story I had in mind. She had availability in two days, which meant I had two days to put together the shoot. So the next day, I did all my prep work, I picked up the film I wanted to shoot on and headed to Hunky Dory Vintage in Shoreditch to pick up some beautiful pieces that would work well with the shoot. And after browsing around for a good 20 minutes or so, I found three key looks that I wanted to go ahead with. My plan was to shoot this editorial on medium format film on my trusty Vermeer RB67 paired with Kodak Portra film. I feel like Kodak Portra's tones and characteristics align perfectly with my photography style and I knew it would enhance the beauty of the pieces I had selected. So the following day was the big day and Josefina and I made our way to our location. The scenery was breathtaking with lots of greenery, wildlife and most importantly a variety of scenes for each of the looks we had planned. So let's dive into the first look of the day. A sleek tailored brown two-piece number with button details and a casually undone bow. Paired with some cream fishnet gloves so Josefina could exude some very effortless sophistication. It was quite a bright day so we shot this first look in the shade to soften the skin and the overall scene while still creating some interesting moments where light splattered through the leaves adding dimension back into the photos. For these shots I encouraged Josefina to become one with her environment leaning into the leaves interacting with them and we played around with some close up shots that showcased her gloves and some wider shots where she posed with the fabric from her bow. second look we opted for a change of scenery and headed to a fishing deck nestled by the lake and as we were positioned right at the water's edge we had this beautiful backdrop for the next set of imagery with Josefina surrounded by mesmerizing hues of blue and this worked perfectly with this gorgeous pink dress with lace detail that I picked up for Josefina <laughs>
We stayed by the water and I felt quite inspired to get some cool shots by a nearby tree trunk. So we had Josefina resting her arms against the tree trunk and sort of peeking her head out from behind it. We headed back to the deck for some seated poses, which was a great opportunity to get some nice close-up shots. Soon we were on our final look, a blue and white dress with stunning floral details, paired once again with the fishnet gloves. We started with some seated shots on the bench, where I asked Josefina to pose by relaxing her elbow onto the bench. stood close to the bench for some close-up shots where Josefina was completely immersed in the leaves and I encouraged her to bring her hands up to incorporate the fishnet gloves. Josephina looked incredible in the blue dress, so I really wanted to showcase the entire look. I thought the piece would look incredible against a backdrop of greenery, so I went for a very wide shot placing Josephina right in the middle of it, completely surrounded by trees, almost as though they were framing the shot.
really enjoyed the shoot and spending time with Josefina. She was very funny and amazing to work with. So I want to thank Josefina and also Hunky Dory Vintage for allowing me to use their pieces. I think I love all three looks equally, but I do have some favorite shots from each look. For the two piece, I love this close up of Josefina holding her face with the gloves on. It has such a gentle energy to it and we really get a sense of Josefina beyond the styling. And for the pink dress look, I love how I frame this shot. I'm typically quite center focused when it comes to my work. So this shot to me is very interesting. I love how the angle of the deck creates quite a cool perspective, almost making it look like Josefina is superimposed into an image of trees and water. And this close up shot is so beautiful to me as well. The colors feel rich and Josefina looks amazing. For the blue dress, I love this moment where we have Josefina playfully posing and looking out from the leaves. Her stance almost follows the shapes of the leaves, almost as if she's left an impression. It's a super playful yet captivating shot. I'd love to know some of your favorite shots, so do leave a comment below. Thank you for tuning in to this editorial. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.